Today we are going to see how to use auto sum functionality in Microsoft Excel. Let's begin. So here we have an Excel sheet and we have a data set here wherein we have the employee ID and the salaries. So before we proceed with the auto sum functionality, we must make sure that the salary or any other measure that you want to sum up right should be in a numeric format. So how do we check that? Suppose if I click here on the first number, we go here and we see it's a number. Maybe it could be like suppose I type in 1000 here. So it's general, right? You must make sure that you convert it to a number or a currency or accounting. Okay, so that's the first part about it. See, it has changed now. So let's try adding these two numbers, these two rows. So which is cell B2 and B3. So we go here and we say equal to B2 plus B3. And as you can see, we've got the sum of the first two rows. Now, how do we know whether this is the correct sum or not? You just highlight on these two numbers. And if you come down here towards your right, you will get to see the sum of that those two rows. OK, so the formula that we wrote is correct. Now, um, the problem is you cannot just Go ahead and type B2, B3, B4, B5, you know, there could be a lot of rows. So what we can do is alternatively, you can just highlight all of these. Okay, whatever rows you want to add up and go towards top right side, you will see a, sum, a function called as auto sum. You just hit on the main button and it will sum up everything. So in this case, let me just remove this and remove this. Okay, let's do it once again. So we highlight all these rows. Okay, and click on auto sum. So if you see, we've got the sum of all the employee IDs salary. Now, if we highlight all of them and if you see, we are getting this sum. There's another method. So now you want to sum up B2 till B19. Now, how do we do that? We will just say equal to sum B2 colon B19. So if you see, it has already taken the highlights and we hit enter. See, we have got the sum. This is one of the most easiest and most commonly used functionality in Excel workbooks. Thank you.